guys, it's Crystal. So this is a requested video by one of my subscribers. So this subscriber emailed me letting me know last night that this Thanksgiving will be the very first Thanksgiving she's spending with her boyfriend's family. I thought that was so sweet and so exciting. So I thought that this would be a really nice opportunity to go ahead and do what she requested, which was do a makeup tutorial for Thanksgiving using all drugstore products. So I tried my best to use as many drugstore products as I could, but this is just going to be a nice, eloquent and simple look for Thanksgiving, especially if you're trying to impress your significant other's family or maybe you just want to look a little bit more dolled up than usual. I primed my face with Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. The foundation that I use is one of the few drugstore foundations that I can actually use at least for a few hours. It's the Revlon Age Defying Spa and just because it's age defined doesn't mean you can't wear it because you're in your teens or early 20s. It's fine. It just is going to help your skin look even better. For concealer, I chose Instant Age Rewind Double Face Perfector. It's dual purpose so it's not just a concealer but it's a quick concealer with a doe foot applicator and wand and then on the other side you have a highlighter which is going to come into play a little bit later and for my setting powder which is going to be very important once you have on your concealer and your foundation it's going to be very important to set that with a powder and the powder that I chose to use is a hot luxor product you can use whatever translucent powder you have at hand this is just the hot luxor high definition powder I'm going to prime my eyes just with a Victoria's Secret primer and it's very important that you do prime your eyes. You really want to make sure there's no creases, no smudge. I'm going to start by using two different palettes. They're both drugstore palettes and they're both pretty reasonably priced. This is the comfort zone. And another palette that I may use just for some touches and some contouring is this Elme Trio. This is the intense eye color for, let's see, greens. It doesn't matter what color your eyes are. I think this is just a really pretty trio and it's pretty pigmented for a drugstore brand. But first, I'm going to lay down just a colored base, and I want to do that because I want my eyeshadow to be just a little bit more shimmery and just have a nice base to put on and start building color with. So I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Duo Cream Shadow. I believe these are a dollar, um, and they're very, very nice if you have a primer on. So keep that in mind. They do say that they don't crease, but they do. They crease like crazy, so wear a primer. I'm going to use that lightest color and put that just all over for a pretty base. I'm going to lay down the brow bone first, the brow color, and I'm using this. It's a very, very pretty and light color. Just something that's going to frame. And if you're really concerned about making this look quite nice and it's the first time you're meeting family, I would go with pressed shadows as opposed to loose shadows or pigments, especially if you're newer at makeup or even if you just don't have a ton of time. And I'm going to start putting this color next all over the lid and a little bit into my crease. And for this, I'm just going to be using a drugstore brush and it's very comparable to the 224 by MAC and it's a Sonia Kashuk blending brush. So I'm going into that light, very, very light tannish brown very, very light tannish color. The reason I'm using a fluffy brush for application is because I want a light application. I don't want to pack it on. If you don't have this palette, just use a champagne pink. And I'm just going to take this e.l.f. shadow brush and go into that really pretty frosty champagne color. And I'm going to put that right on the inner portion of my lid. And whenever you're meeting family for the first time, boyfriend, family, husband family, fiance family, you do want to make a good impression. You do want them to say, you know, that is that is the girl for my son. I'm going to do contouring and then I'm going to do a transition color. For contouring, I'm just going to use this darker brown. Very pretty, has a little bit of gold in there. I'm going to be using a smaller blending brush by e.l.f. And these brushes are all like a dollar, so I think that if you have the time, you can run out to Target in case you don't have brushes. It's the best bet. You don't want to use sponge tip applicators for this. And I'm going to start just a little bit above my crease. And then I'm going to make a slight V shape with it. It's called your outer V. And you want to bring that in and have it fade as it goes in. And I'm also putting it on the outside of my lid just to add a little bit of depth and dimension, but you do want it to fade. You don't want it to be color blocking. It's all going to look very natural, very faded, very beautiful. So just go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. And again, we're just doing color placement. We're going to blend in a moment. Once you have that portion done, it does look very intense and very blocked. We're going to start toning it down a bit. And to do this, I'm going back into that All May palette, and there's a really pretty goldish color up top, and I'm going to dip my fluffy brush in there, 
tap it off, and that's going to start blending this out. So we're going to start putting it as our transition color between the dark line and between our highlight. So you can see we're blending that out already as opposed to here. Do the same on the other eye. I'm going to take this color, and it's a very pretty like Moscato wine color. I'm going to use that same fluffy brush, cleaned off, dipping that in, tapping off the excess. We're going to just put that literally in our socket. If you can't find the socket, press right in here. It's the part that goes in the deepest. And I'm adding this just on the outside and in that outer V to add a little bit more dimension, a little bit of an unexpected color. Now we're going to add some liner. I'm just going to take a cold pencil liner and line the inner rim of my eye, the tight line. For that, you're just going to open your eye nice and wide and gently push on that line up top. That's going to help our lashes look very thick and full. For the bottom line, I'm going to be taking that really pretty pink champagne color. I'm going to be putting it just under our eye. For liner, I'm going to very lightly put a small line on my lashes, and I'm going to make it just slightly thicker at the end. Now for mascara, I'm going to be using a drugstore one, the L'Oreal Voluminous. I think that this would add such a wonderful touch, especially because you're not doing very heavy liner, so you're going to have your lashes be nice and full. You always want to put a coat on the tops of your lashes in case you had any fallout from mascara. It's always such a tragedy when girls have all of that powder on top of their lashes. Definitely put a coat on your bottom lashes. I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer with this look, just a little contouring. You could add it on the basic places where the sun hits. I have a video on Bronzing 101 and a blog post. I'm just using this very inexpensive e.l.f. one. It's definitely not my favorite, but it will do in a pinch. Kind of putting it on the hollows of my cheeks and going up. And then slenderizing my face by putting it on the sides, temples. Next, I'm taking the e.l.f. blush. It's just a really pretty pink. And you want this on the apples of your cheeks. And then flick it back. Highlighting will be really important. You can either use this Revlon Age Defying Face Illuminator or this dual purpose Maybelline. And I like this one. We're just going to put a little bit of highlight where it's needed, down the bridge of my nose, cheekbones, so that that's really what the light reflects. For lipstick, I think you can get away with a really pretty pink. This is a Revlon Color Stay, and this is 290 Heavenly Mauve. A lip gloss that I love is the L'Oreal High Intensity Pigments. This one is in Precious, and I think that this one would be nice all by itself. If you need to fix your brows or fill them in, go ahead and do so. What I've been using lately, and it's not drugstore, it's actually uh, quite pricey for the full size, but it's this perfect brow gel. I love it, and I can't wait till my full size gets here. So this is the basic nice look for Thanksgiving, and it was requested that I use all drugstore products for this, so I used as many as I could, and it's just a very simple, neutral, and warm eye makeup with very bold lashes. You can also add falsies if you'd like, but I wanted to pick products that either had a dual purpose to them. One last tip would be to get a good makeup setting spray. If this is the only thing you splurge on, this would be it. This was $12 and it's the original makeup setting spray that was used in runway shows and it's called Model in a Bottle. And your makeup will set for 12 to 15 hours, which is a wonderful amount of time. You barely need to touch anything up but your lips. And I want to thank XXCaseyMay13 for emailing me and requesting this. I thought it was really sweet that she wanted to put this effort into impressing her significant other's family. And I wish her all the best of luck this Thanksgiving, as well as the rest of you. I do have other Thanksgiving looks. This was just a simple one, and I wanted to address it fast because we're close to Thanksgiving. And it was requested all drugstore. If you'd like Thanksgiving looks with a higher end product, different colors. I have that as well. I hope that you enjoyed this and the next video will be about a hair that will go with this. Thanks guys. Bye.